Oh, uh, the chat is WebSocket based. I saw someone ask that earlier. Yes. No, you will not be behind the curve because you know nothing about modding. You can probably download other people's mods. That's fine. Yeah, uh, we're trying really, really hard to. Um... You're chopped off about here. Okay. We're trying really hard to make sure that our web UI and the general interface is not going to, um, you know, be hackable. So, like, hackable in a bad way. I mean, that that's our commitment. If someone can write something that gives them an unfair advantage, whether or not they redistribute it, we're going to try very hard to uh, you know, make sure that you cannot get away with stuff. Yes, I did notice the creepy guy with my picture as his avatar last night. That was pretty weird. Uh, what are the limits for what's possible? The biggest, uh, the biggest limitation in general is that uh, we don't expose real-time information on player positions to the UI layer. You know, anything that's going to let you build radar, anything that's going to let you build, you know, like basically, you know let you auto-target, anything like that, that's uh, hidden from the UI layer. Uh, yes, you will be able to access chat from outside the game on the website. It's currently on our 1.5 website, so it's not live yet, but soon. Are you able to access the net via the UI? Um, in general, yes. Um, you know, there are as we move forward a little bit, there, we may get into a, a situation where we, um, you know, like there's two tiers, things that have a little more access to the game and things that have access to the outside net. And, um, you know, you are in one tier or the other tier. So that's how, um, you know, so that's how we'll try and secure that. So I, I can definitely think of some cases where being able to have full access to the game client and to uh, post stuff up to a server could potentially be exploitable. Because, <laughs> uh, you know, Bryce and I have walked, the, have walked the dark path ourselves at some <laughs> point. We know the tricks. Um, well, CSE have a place where we can post our mods for others to use, yes. Uh, we haven't committed to anything yet. My actual personal hope is that we, um, uh, just let you publish uh, publish to GitHub, and the client will pull down from there. And that's my ideal. Um, I'm not sure exactly how we'll work it out, but again, that would be the ideal. Um, let's see, cast bars and timers. Or, I'm not sure. Cast bars and timers are just animations for what? I'm not sure. I think it's gonna be question. Okay. Uh, it's, uh, uh, Visual no. Studio uh, 2013 is what we're currently using right now. I think we, we built it on 2011. Fine, I think there's a 2011 project, but 2013 is what we're currently using right now. Um, yeah, tw Visual Studio 2013 Web Express, which is completely free to download, is, um, yeah, that, is that will do everything you need. That's actually how the project is set up. Uh, we kind of build it outside the core C++ and C Sharp client and server. Uh, for non-hackers, can I tweak the basic UI? Um, the parts that aren't TypeScript and JavaScript are still HTML. And so, CSS. Yeah, so you know, if you know how to like draw a box on a web page, then with just some basic HTML, yes, you can do that. Or if you just want to do something simple like change colors, that'll be really easy for you. Uh, what do you guys think about macroing? My general feeling <laughs> is if the game is macroable, it's broken at the design level. Yeah. You know. Uh, there's a quote from another video coming up of buck rotations. <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, do you guys drink mead from horns? I drink mead from a horn. I drink zombie killer from a horn. It's a very specific kind of drink. It's delicious. What well, goes in a zombie killer? I need uh, to know this. Uh, zombie killer is a Michigan based, like, uh, it's kind of mead like. It's like Michigan apples, Michigan cherries, Michi Michigan stuff. I don't know, it's delicious. But fermented, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's, that's what's important. <laughs> uh, Best place to learn to write JavaScript. I mean, you have Google. like. Yeah, I, I learned from W3 schools. Yeah, I don't, there's stuff everywhere. I don't think there's one 
specific great place, but there's so much information out there on the interwebs. You're, you'll be fine. Can I create a UI mod that logs all my chat text for combat text to an Amazon S3 bucket? Yeah, that is, <laughs> yeah. That is absolutely possible. <laughs> um, or uh, we are, at, to some extent, uh, you know, we're still working on how exactly to not overload the server. There's an API on the server itself that's, you know, you're able to get a log of that stuff too. And, you know, just get it exported as JSON straight to you, um, which we hope, you know, I, th I think Mayhuge did a really great kill tracker yeah, kill with the tracker. internal test stuff off of that, so you don't even have to export it. Like, that's the level of openness we are trying for with this. Um, yeah. Uh, will experienced web developers be able to build something to eat kill boards? Yes and beyond. That is that is the whole point. Um, you know, the, the central thing is that, like, the interface accesses the game through a web API, and there is no, and that is like that is what we built first. There are some places where we go back in and we optimize it, to, you know, have like a fast binary path for performance reasons to the client. But you know, if it's accessible from the UI in the game, it's accessible. Period from any web API. Uh, our thesis asks if we're using Chrome. We're using Chromium specifically. Uh, it does support HTML5. Uh, Canvas, I have not, I've yet to test Canvas and WebGL. I'm not yes. 100%. Um, right now, at this particular present time, um, WebGL does not work in the game because we're not using the hardware accelerated path. Um, I can pretty much guarantee that that bug is going to be fixed before we ship. I I, release, yeah. Absolutely no question. I will get stabbed if it's not. <laughs> yeah, my, my girlfriend uh, may possibly. Our acceleration part of Chromium or Google, so uh, I kind of have no choice on that. It's like, Andrew, are you using my code yet? Um, no. no. Uh, this was once easy. You can already query our API for kill death assist information on a given time period. Uh, we don't have the API publicly documented right now currently, but it, it does exist. We probably should document that. I have stuff for that. Um, Will the UI be able to access your own position? No. Um, <laughs> that That is a very specific thing I already Don't try to do bad things. Yeah. That, uh, like I said, Bryce and I have done the bad things. We, we've been, you know, and there are um, basically anything related to what in real time state of the game, what projectiles are incoming, that's, you know, where you are standing, where other people are standing. None of that is accessible at the UI layer. And we, you know, we, tr we go a little bit out of our way to make sure you can't do that. Uh, binding frameworks. We're currently only using jQuery and underscore for frameworks. Uh, we used Angular in the patcher just because it's not public facing and I really like Angular, but currently in in-game UI we are only using basically jQuery. Um, yeah, and that that is, you know, we want to have the barrier to entry for people to be as low as possible. We don't want to require like, oh, to hack on our UI you have to learn this giant framework. There's nothing to stop, nothing stopping you yeah. from dropping in Angular in a mod. Um, but we don't want to require knowledge of it, something like Angular. Just like you can abandon underscore in a mod if you want to and use something else. Uh, What's the biggest challenge in making a web-based UI? Uh, for me, it was convincing people that this was a good idea. <laughs> um, you know, I've, I've, like this is something that you know back in you know like. 2008, I drew this on a whiteboard at Mythic, and everyone's like, Andrew, you're insane. <laughs> I, I may possibly still be insane. At the time, maybe. Yeah. But, yeah. Yeah, I, I, like some, I like some Vikings blood. I drink some Vikings blood. We got it in here in Virginia. It's good stuff. Um, I want to drink Lukerpan blood. That's what I want. the opponent's buffs and debuffs? I mean, that's like a real specific UI question. Will I be able to access damage numbers and absorb damage? Um, let's say uh, probably the best answer to that is, is that you will not have, like, you will not necessarily have access to that in real time. Um, you know, certain, like, long term, you know, on some kind of delay, whether that's 30 minutes or one hour or 24 hours, like you will get 
real-time fine-grained access out on, you know, this person killed this person at this location, those kinds of things. We want, we really want it to be possible to do a heat map. We just, you know, understand that making it too real-time turns into, you know, radar and things that are evil. Uh, what creative add-ons are we looking forward to the community seeing? Um, I don't know, and that's what excites that's me the, the beauty, most. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, bring info from the armory to prioritize targets. Uh, we do not allow UI scripts to set your target. Uh, that's a, you know, that that is a, a, you know, that's just not something we're going to let you do. <laughs> like you don't have the information on that, and that is by design. So you could bring info in from the armory, but you could not set a target based on that. Uh, will you be able to see your opponent's buffs and debuffs? Um, right now, yeah, you can, uh, sure. because that is something that again we make visible to you. You know, if it's if it's visible in the UI, it's visible to the UI. Uh, yes, the API does already expose chat controls, so you can make API calls to send chat messages. Yeah, there is a uh, chat is accessible in three ways. There is a fast binary path going through the client. Um, there is raw XMPP that people are uh, able to log into with Trillion and Pigeon, um, assuming they're in internal testing right now. And there is a WebSocket interface that just wraps the XMPP. So, uh, will there be a combat log separate from the chat window? There actually, yeah, there is already. Yeah. Um, you know, how much information we we want to make that as as informational as possible. Um, so yeah, it, it's actually just right now it's just another XMPP stream yeah. through the chat server. Functions as another channel basically. Uh, Will I be able to data mine the hell out of the game? I mean, yeah, we're you, gonna have if, an API. If these answers aren't, if we haven't <laughs> answered that already, yes, that is <laughs> that is the point. Uh, will there be an internal function with access to that to pull up class guides at launch? Um, I can't guarantee we will do it. I'm sure one of you will do it, though. Uh, how taxing will things like animations be on the UI considering it's built inside JavaScript? Uh, you know, if you write if you write crappy JavaScript, you're going to have crappy performance that's the same as in a web page. CSS animations, CSS3 animations have been working perfectly fine for me. Uh, jQuery animations have been working perfectly fine. I haven't really seen it much issue so far with animation performance at all. Um, Will we be connected to the war camera through the, via the UI through mobile systems? Um, yeah, I'm punting on that question for now. Uh, what? Enemy names on nameplates is under discussion right now. I don't, we don't think we've made a decision on that at all yet. Uh, I'm putting that in the probably camp, though. Yeah. Um, you know, we it's a big part of like community isn't just the cuddly care bear we love each other aspect. It's I hate that guy, and I want to remember <laughs> him so that I know who I'm going to get next time. I mean, that is as much a part of community as the love. Can you create timed delays within the UI? Yeah, check out the JavaScript set timeout and set interval functions. They're built in out of the box. Yeah, that, that's one of those things that just works. Um, can we build <laughs> multiboxing into the UI? Um, well. You can't, like, the UI itself will not let you move your player. The UI does not let you, yeah, the UI layer does not actually let you, you know, cause someone to walk forward. And again, that is by design to, you know, anything involving, like, the really fine-grained position and type of thing, manipulation of the world state is, we just don't expose it. And I'm sure you can see why, you know, doing that would do more harm than good. Are any of you into Star Wars? Yes, I happen to be into Star Wars. Shrek, man. Sorry. <laughs> um, how do interactions with UI feedback to the game engine? Uh, essentially, we the biggest. Well, there's there's so many ways. Um, what we are converging on is a uh, is kind of a custom protocol handler. That's sort of the long term vision. And uh, you know, it's essentially XML HTTP request, except intercepted by the client, is where we're going to end up with more and more stuff. We also have a lot of things where we just register callbacks, and you know, that is uh, that's where most things are right now. Um, you know, are you guys going to keep it so people who have multiple accounts to buff their primary character? I'm, 
you know, that, that, that's not really a UI question.